video we're going to take a look at how you can replace the anode rod for your hot water system tank now water inside a tank can cause corrosion and over time it would damage the tank so every now and then we need to replace it now before we begin we need to turn off the power supplied to your hot water system and go inside your house and turn on the hot water to relieve the pressure so turn on all the hot water inside your house and outside of the tank there is also a relief valve that you can uh, turn it on and this will relieve the pressure inside your system there is also an isolation valve right there that you can switch off that is the cold water coming into your system so you turn that off and then also try to relieve some water by using that relief valve on the side of the tank at the top here there is a cover we need to get a swivel driver and remove the cover once the cover is removed you will be able to see the anode rod uh, swivel top now before removing the anode rod make sure that you release some water from the system about one third so using the valve at the top from the relief valve and the bottom you can release uh, the water if you open up the relief valve it will allow allow some air to come in and that in turn allow the water to come down at the bottom valve okay next we're going to use a 27 millimeter hex socket to remove the anode rod turn your socket anti-clockwise so continue to turn and turn until it is loose and you can open it with your hand Now I'm going to use my hand and pull it out. Just pull it out slowly. You can see it's quite badly worn out. There are still a tiny bit of the anode rod left, but uh, most of them are already worn out. And the water is actually feeding on this, and that's why it's not causing rust to the tank. So let's compare it against a, uh, a brand new one. So you can see here the old one and a brand new one. Now if you want to flush out all the water in the system, you can open up the inlet on the side of the tank. Okay, I have another anode rod right here that is the correct size for this Dux Pro Flow system. It is an 80 liter system. Okay, so now we're just going to put a new anode rod into this tank. First, I'm going to use my hand and tighten it. And then after that, we're going to use the hex socket and tighten the anode rod. Okay, next we go inside the house and turn on all the hot water tap and this will allow the air trap in the pipe to go out. Next go out and turn on the isolation valve and this will allow the cold water to go into the tank. Once you start seeing the water flowing through, you can turn off the hot tap inside your house. And finally, we can put the cap back on. So use a hammer or something and push it down and this will prevent the rainwater from coming in after that you can go to your meter box and turn on uh, turn the power back on and that's it and you're done thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos